Hello. I have been following the Facebook drum between Keith Arkell and Amanda Chav with interest. Well, Amanda asks for the matter regarding Keith's misuse of the words, would have to be commented on by someone with credentials, and I would also like to add my thoughts on this most serious matter as well. My name is Stephen Hawking, and I am a theoretical physicist and cosmologist, and I concur that any misuse of words is not only dangerous to English grammar police blood pressure, but also to the cosmos. At any time we may be visited by aliens, and therefore we should not want to confuse them of our languages. If one is speaking English then there shouldn't be made up versions of this language like Scouse or Chav. Chavs, like Amand, not only make up random words, but also pollute an otherwise perfect sociable language with garbage. When aliens from the 99th dimension come to visit us on their banana-shaped spacecrafts, then take us to the promised land of unicorns, fluff bunnies, magic rainbows, and eternal life. They will need people to speak perfect English so they don't mistake our words for war. We have predicted with absolute certainty that Earth will be destroyed by a zombie apocalypse in less than a year. We are already seeing signs of that with frothing of the mouth of such cases like a man chav. As the average human IQ drops to absolute zero more and more chav zombies rise and seek to destroy cities, loot and attempt to eat people. It is vital that we prevent these zombies from attacking the pink horned unicorn aliens that come and take us to paradise where we shall live on an alien planet forever, saved by science, forever and ever, amen. The pink horned unicorn aliens will only save people who use correct English terminology and grammar, and will quickly exterminate anyone who uses chav terminology as they will not know whether they are about to be done alive by a crazy, or if they are some weird mating call. Either way, it is creepy. So thank you for listening, and yes, I concur that Keith Arkell used correct grammar, despite what a chav mom wrote about him.